Hey, everybody. Coach Jason, hope you're doing well. Happy Saturday. I want to talk about workouts to help you run your best 10K and even 5K if you happen to run that distance too. 10K runners that step down to the 5K and 5K runners who step up to the 10K. They're all kind of interchangeable with each other. Okay. Before I do that, I want to send a special congratulations out to today was the Olympic trials marathon, U.S. Olympic trials. Connor Mance, Clayton Young, BYU teammates, and I Leonard Career, former Iona college runner for being top three in Olympic trials, men's marathon, and Fiona O'Keefe, former Stanford runner, Emily Sisson, uh, former Providence runner, and Dakota Lindworm came out of nowhere, but she runs for the Minnesota Distance Project. And again, for being the top three in the women's. The women's, and uh, then you had uh, Jessica McLean, fourth, Sarah Hall, 40-year-old Sarah Hall, fifth. They were all under the Olympic trial standard. So, and for the men, Alcana Cabet, 40-year-old Alcana Cabet was fourth. C.J. Albertson was fifth. Zach Panning was sixth. So great marathon races, both sides. Okay. Great, great, great marathon races. Now, let's get back to this. We're going to start with 10K. Here are some early season workouts, okay? You're looking at 1,000-meter reps. Six to eight times, that's 1K threshold rep with a 1K with a one-minute recovery after reach one. Okay, threshold pace, which is slower, which is essentially about half marathon pace for thresholds. Okay. Secondly, five to six times a 1600 meter at threshold pace as well, which is essentially the same threshold pace as the 1K reps would be. You're just spending more time in the threshold zone. Also, if you can get to the point where you're doing one minute recovery, that's good too. You can start at 90 seconds and work your way down two minutes. Just like if you do 1200 meter reps, you could start at 75 seconds and work your way down to a minute as well. So, these are some threshold reps I encourage you to do early season. It's a great way of getting your volume up and even doing over distance without it being invasive and beating up the legs. Now, moving down to bookend tempos. What's a bookend tempo? Essentially going out hard and finishing hard. So here is an option. You run a hard 400. Let's just say it's a 5K pace. You take a minute rest. And then you go right into a continuous 20 to 25-minute tempo run, okay, which is about 10 to 15 seconds slower, about 5 to 10 seconds slower than your threshold uh, workout as well. So. Um, you're looking at closer to marathon pace here for the, for the continue, for the tempo. Run. Okay. So you continuous tempo run, then you rest a minute again, and then you do another 400 meter on the back end. So the first 400 is a 5k pace. The second one is a 3k pace. It serves as speed development for this bookend tempo. Okay. Cause some, you know, some point this will simulate going out hard in a race, settling in, running that lengthy part of the race, and then trying to finish hard as well. If you can progress to the point, the second option is another one for you too. You do 600 at. Let's just say 10K pace here. You take a minute recovery. Then you do the same 20 to 25 minute tempo run. You take another minute on the back end. And then you do another 600 meter effort on the back end at, let's just say, 5K pace here. Okay, it's a longer rep. Teaches you how to finish stronger further out but while doing the same thing. So those are some good early season workouts. Now let's move to mid-season. Okay, this is two sets of 4 by 800. This is why I start to combine um, threshold and tempo and, and race pace stuff. So here's the first workout is two sets of four by 800. This is a great workout for a 5k runners. Okay. You can even use it for 10k runners too. But the first set four times an 800 at threshold pace with a one minute recovery. Then you take a five to six minute active recovery. And then they do the second set at 5k pace with a two minute recovery. So the second set, 5k pace. The first set is at threshold pace. This helps you get used to running the second part of the workout faster than the first part. Not everybody does that, and this is a way of scheduling your training in a way that makes it possible, okay? Secondly, the next one, two sets of three by 1,600. The first set at threshold pace, take a one-minute 30 recovery. Okay, you rest the same five to six minutes, and you do the second set at 10K pace with a two-minute recovery. Again, running the second part of the workout faster than the first part, okay? You can even do 1,000 meters. You could do two sets of four by 1,000. At first set at threshold pace, the same one minute recovery, five to six minutes. Second set would be anywhere from 10K pace, even down to 5K pace. You could progress in the second the second set, the same two minute recovery. But again, it's designed to run the second part of the workout faster than the first part to help you get used to running the second part of the race faster than the first part of the race. You want to get used to negative splitting as often as you possibly can. Okay. And then the third one on the bottom end here, you do two miles at 10K pace, take a six minute recovery. Then you go a mile and a half at 5K pace, okay? And uh, for some reason, I spelled that wrong. My apologies. 
mile and a half at 5K pace, a four-minute recovery, and then you do another mile at 5K pace. So the two middle reps are at 5K pace. You take a two-minute recovery and then an 800 at 3K pace. Again, the reps get shorter, but the pace gets faster throughout the workout. Okay? If you add it up, you got two miles, one and a half makes it three and a half. Another mile makes it four and a half. 800 makes it five miles worth of volume at a progressively faster pace. That's good mid-season again. Now let's prove it to the late season. You can get to the point where you do five to six times 1K reps. This is a great 5K workout with a two-minute recovery at 5K goal pace. Or four to five times 1,200 meters with two-minute recovery at goal 5K pace. Okay? Great for the 5K people that are running, racing the 5K at the end of the season. And then you have people running the 10K. You can do five to six times a mile with a two-minute recovery at goal 10K pace. Okay, and late season, you want to do the majority of your workout, if not all the workout, at goal 10K pace. You could start at the beginning of the season at current and work your way to goal. And then for those that are a little bit more strength-based or a little bit more experienced, four to five times 2K, which is 8K to 10K worth of volume with a two-minute recovery at goal 10K pace. Okay, this is a straight reps, okay? Now I'm going to add some variety into this. We'll go back to early season, part two, okay? This is a great way of kind of phasing things in. You could start with a two-mile tempo. You take a six-minute recovery. Then you do two miles at 10K pace with a five-minute recovery, okay? And then eight times a 400-meter on the back end, that 5K pace, take a 100-meter jog after each one. So you're going from tempo to 10K to 5K. It's a great way of getting a little bit of running at each different pace without taxing the body too much, but getting yourself ready to race those early races in the season. This is great for cross-country too, okay? Secondly, you can get to the point where you can do three-mile tempo instead of two, more older and experienced runners, you take a six-minute recovery, two miles at 10K pace again, take that five-minute recovery, and then you do 10 times at 300. Okay, so the longer tempo rep, but the shorter uh, reps on the back end. But the reps are 10 times 300, but you're going to progress from 5K to 3K pace now with a, with a jog 100-meter recovery. So it's manipulated a little bit. The reps are shorter but faster on the back end. The tempo reps longer. Okay, so a couple of good early season workouts. Now we'll pivot to some mid-season here, variety. Two sets of 1,200, 800, 400. If you look it up, 2,400 meters each set, 48. It's a great 5K workout. You do the two, so you do the 1,200 meter rep at 5K pace. You take a two minute recovery. You do the 800 meter rep at 3K pace. You do a 130 recovery, and then the 400 meter reps at mile pace. You take a five to six minute recovery, and then you repeat the set again. Two times 12.84. Again, a good 5K workout, mid season. Help you get used to transitioning to faster stuff. When the races become a little bit more aggressive and more tactical, these are the workouts that are going to serve you a lot of benefit. Now we want to elevate it to the longer stuff. Two sets of 2,400, 1,600, 800, which is essentially 1.5 miles, one mile, 0.5. So a mile and a half rep at 10K pace with a three-minute recovery. And then you pivot to the 1,600-meter rep or the mile rep at 5K pace with a two-minute recovery. And then the 800 meter rep at 3K pace with a six minute recovery. And then you repeat the set again. This is great for strength oriented workouts. Again, great for people who are training for the 8K and the 10K, especially during cross country. Great cross country workout, but something you can use for the track as well. But good, good for mid season work. Right there. Varied pace stuff. And then some finally, late season stuff. 10 times an 800 with a two minute recovery, 10K to 5K pace. Great for your 10K runners. Then seven times a 600 with a two-minute recovery, 5K to 3K pace. Great for your people running the 5K. Okay. And then eight times a 400 for the people who happen to run, you know, like to move down to 3K, who happen to are would be racing the 5K or even 10K, who you want to give a little bit more speed touch to, eight times a 400 with a 130 recovery at 3K down to mile pace. It serves as good speed development for 5K and 10K runners. You want to sharpen them up before you test them, this is a good way to do it. Okay, it's not something I would do race week. It's something I would do two or three weeks out. Okay, and I would repeat the one mile time trial that I encourage folks to do in the early season, especially during the fall. It gives you a good idea of your fitness. So one mile time trial would repeat that for the five k group to see how they progress from early to late season. Okay, I would do this about let's say about eleven days out from your goal race. Okay, and then a three k time trial. I encourage folks to do this at our rank training for eight k and ten k in cross country. Do a three k time trial that'll give you a good idea of where your fitness is, the ten k group. Okay, and test and see how you've progressed from early season or even the fall to the spring. See how you progress from three k then to three k now. It'll give you a good idea on how your fitness has improved over time. So those are some workouts, some early, mid, late season workouts, all for ten k, even folks that use for five k as well. And 
a lot of variety, phase one and phase two. So let me know what your thoughts are. Make sure if you're a coach or an athlete, that you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. If you enjoy the content, the like is very helpful, and the subscribe is always greatly appreciated. And It'll also make sure that you know exactly when I go live. So hit the notification button too when I go live. And I do live streams so that you coaches and athletes can have direct access to me. Can I give my email, blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com? So if you have questions about any one of my videos, I'm happy to help you answer them. Okay? Happy to talk and have a dialogue with you. I want to get to know you all, coaches and athletes. And again, any way that I can help you, I want to do that. So by subscribing, again, it just keeps you in the loop. It keeps you updated on all the content that comes in. Okay? And it's my way of saying thank you as well. So I want to thank you all for your support. Okay? And have a great rest of the season, a great rest of the year. Talk to you next time.